any amount of bigotry or racism or mm -hmm. anything that you sprout at home, whether you know parents just think it's a behind the curtain kind of conversation, kids catch on that to that. And when they are raised in homes like this, they feel that it's okay to treat other people this way. Like myself has gone through a different kind of um, bullying with, you know, not being black enough or being too black or being too this or being too that and living in a completely different world than I was used to for most of my childhood. Um, for, for us, there is a sense that, you know, um, and our African-American president of saying, you know what, we have, this has been done to us, so yeah. God forbid it be done to someone else. And there is, um, I feel like, a really great connection between the African-American community and the gay and lesbian oh, yeah. transgender community. I think that you see the spike in bullying and, and the incidence of, of suicides also going up because a lot of kids are coming out earlier. They feel safe, they see gay, I, I play gay character on TV, they see gay, you know, they see gay characters on TV, on reality shows, they think, hey, it's okay to be gay, I can be, you know, whatever, my gender, gender identity as well is a big issue. Yeah. But it also makes right. them bigger targets yes. because they're more themselves earlier on. So the responsibility of the parents gets higher and of the educators. So sure. I think it's the, the burden has to be shared by everybody. Absolutely. So, yeah. yeah. It would have been great to have an organization like this when I was going to high school and elementary school because I can remember being taunted and being called names and actually having things thrown at me. And, and it just it was not, not happy memories of school at all. Right. So I never go to any reunions or anything like that. So I think this is really, really important and I, I want to support it as much as I can. The moment when I was in my car when my buddy Philip texted me and said that the president just endorsed gay marriage and I started crying. So, you know, big moments in our lives and, and this issue is still is something that's going to reverberate for a while. He's leaving a legacy that's far greater than his popularity right now and I just feel like in 10, 15, 20, 30 years when this, like, you know, racism was in the 50s, whatever, people will look back and go, what is what did he stand for? What did he do for this country before? What was here before him and what was here after him? And this is far greater than, than any popularity contest. Absolutely. I think he knows that. He does. Yeah. He's a smart man. Yep. It's not too bad looking either. Just saying. <laughs> Wondering who we're voting for. <laughs> <laughs> so you mean if you had to pick the president or Mrs. Obama, you'd... <laughs> Ooh. Mm, it's a toss-up. I don't know. Mm.